Hello, welcome. In this video I will talk to you about this piece of paper that says I do many things well. I picked it up when I was a custodian and this is from my elementary school. The best thing about me is I'll say that I'm a polite person. I'm patient, polite, respectful. I'm an excellent dad. Uh, of course, everybody that, if you watch my videos, there's only one thing I lack, and that is uh, I don't work. However, I feel that in my superiority or my comp my ego, the way I am, I, I was raised to have, I was supposed to be the king of the world, but then I found out that Satan is the king of the world. But it was until I was 22 or cleaning as a custodian at a, where the Miami Dolphins play the stadium, I started thinking, how come they are not bowing to me? You know, it's like I thought people were supposed to bow to me. And that's because of the upbringing I had, the superiority. And yet, in many ways, I was slower in thinking than guys that couldn't, that didn't finish high school, but the guys that, that just didn't like books. And I liked books, but I, what I was missing was, uh, now when I look at people, they don't fool me. For instance, before a coworker would say, "May I borrow five bucks?" and I say yes, or a high school classmate, I say yes, then they don't pay you back. So I keep away from people, but uh, now I can tell, "Oh, this guy's a thief. This guy's an alcoholic. This guy is a, a white beater. This guy is a control freak." This one, uh, I'm thinking about the husbands and people that I <laughs> that are my age, older. Uh, this one is an angel compared to <laughs> this other one. How did these two get together in some in some in some um, husband wife type things? All right. So the best thing about me, I'm very polite. I'm actually too polite and too um, too. So that's why I keep away from people. I found out I'm a dove. However, as a dad, I'm supposed to protect. And so that's why I teach the Tai Chi and, and from the videos on YouTube, I teach Wing Chun. Uh, not that I learned, I heard about them and, and well, uh, I learned from watching others that are good at what they do and I say ah there's no way I could use this or there is something take what is useful what Bruce Lee said my best school subject is alright when I was a kid my best school subject was English and the other one was English with high school with Shakespeare and uh, poetry and the other one was history but I didn't like in English I like the sh love stories and I like the love poems and I like Chantilly lace and a pretty face, a ponytail uh, hanging down and a wiggle in the walk and a giggle in the talk and whoa, what? Uh, Papa was his name, big eyed Papa. Or something. So I enjoy the the history about people, uh, about countries. I enjoyed the poetry. However, I didn't like the iambic pentameter or the super details of the test questions. I mean, how many words this poem has and this line has 10 words, this one has 5 and the other one has 10 and this one has 5 and there is some sort of relationship. That was too much. Alright, what do I work very hard to do? 
organize. I'm constantly working on organizing and I'm achieving this by making these videos and tossing out the paperwork. What else am I working on? Uh, keeping the the quality of the relationship I have with my son. I failed miserably with the relationship with my daughter and before that I failed with my spouse and before that I failed with my mother <laughs> we had a horrible relationship and as far as uh, I am guarded uh, with my mother I'm very guarded I mean I go in say hello she's in the room over there and she can probably hear me now but she hasn't come over here to attack me so I don't mind um, some people are very dangerous with their words I remember that I didn't understand what my mother said until maybe an hour later <laughs> because it had a double meaning so what I do now is it's almost like going underwater when you're swimming you come back up I'm in the safety zone right here which is my garage and I go over there I remember one time she was upset because I went to visit her at a nursing home she was there for recuperation after the hospital surgery and so I went over there and instantly she attacked me like a dragon with words finally you get here I haven't seen you you left me alone here and so I did a complete turnaround and bumped into the two people that were with me which were our friends a husband and wife couple and they heard everything she said about me and I said I'll, I'll be sitting over here by the nurse <laughs> And then my mother did a completely, oh, how nice to see you. But she had been caught. <laughs> but we all have our up days and our down days. I work very hard to get along with my son. I also work hard to get along with everybody else. However, I am guarded with everybody else. Yes like uh, when I'm at home I like to basically make videos organize read books I am actually rewriting books which is something I've been doing for a long time because the books sometimes when I read them they're like ah oh, so many words or so many words from a long time ago I'm talking about Mr. Waddles the science of getting rich um, the power of concentration these are free ebooks so when I'm at home I like to organize I like to play with the dog I like to I like to sing I, I would actually uh, I would even cook but it's difficult to do that because I have to go to the other to the kitchen uh, I would do it here if I had my own equipment uh, sometimes it's not really cooking but doing science experiments one day I'll uh, I'll make them public the ones that I've made probably when my kids are 18 years old or, or when I'm dead I've already told them to make them public when I'm dead so that people could see uh, who was this Daniel not so much for other people but sometimes people think I'm a bad person and the only way I, I let them know uh, well if you lived with me you'd say man he's not lazy he's active he's always doing something um, uh, 
and he's a wonderful listener with his son. Uh, with the daughter, no, because she wants to watch her TV shows that I don't approve of, and I'm not allowed to take them away from her. Uh, I could get bank corrected if I do that. And I'm serious. I mean, in another country, I wouldn't have so many problems with the family. Uh, because, uh, like for instance, Honduras, men are respected over there. A woman living alone, unless she's an older woman with a couple of workers, or, or I mean, she's got to be different. They're very, very manly, <laughs> the ones I've met, the older ones. But by that, I mean they're, they're tough cookies. What do I like to do with my friends? Oh, I like to play soccer, but the difference would be like if we have six kids playing, then we would have six six balls, or at least three, so that one team can score and the other team can block, and nobody will be able to keep track of score because there are too many balls, because uh. In the United States, I've seen that children, if there are 10 kids at the park, all 10 of them have a soccer ball. And in Honduras, if there are 10 kids at the park, they're, all, they're actually 20 kids, but they're only playing with one soccer ball. So most people, most kids don't even touch the ball. Alright. So learn from my mistakes and enjoy your life. May God bless you.